Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We back. I'm Welcome into Sweet Scoop Post Game, presented by Chrysler Dodge, Jeep Ram of Walla Walla, and the farmers of the Walla Walla Sweet Onion. I'm on the field after the sweets were pounded 14-3 to by the Victoria Harbor Cats. Not the team's finest moment, but I'm here with our two-way player, a new sweet, or an old sweet, depending on how you look at it. Just got into town a couple days ago, but was with the team last year. I'm with Ryan Johnston of UC Irvine. Ryan, year one with the Sweets last year, before your redshirt freshman year, you've got a college season under your belt. You're back for year two. Does it feel any different this time around? Uh, it doesn't feel different, um, but it's definitely nice uh, because I'm familiar with Walla Walla and uh, the coaches and just kind of how summer ball works. So it's I love Walla Walla, so it's, it's nice here, and I, I enjoy playing here. Well, you liked it enough, certainly, to come back. Does it help, though, having that season of collegiate experience under your belt before you come into the West Coast League? Some pretty good competition out here. Yeah, it definitely, uh, definitely helps. Um, I mean, summer ball is just a great experience all around, uh, not necessarily just for baseball, but uh, for growing as a person and uh, growing with the community. So, yeah. Well, in what ways does summer ball help you grow as a person? I think that's interesting. Um, it kind of... It kind of helps you bond, you know, with uh, people yeah. you never met before. Yeah. Um, maybe interactions with a host host family that uh, you're not necessarily used to. Um, kind of doing your own thing and then uh, coming out here and uh, playing hard for the sweets. That's great. So you're a two-way player. You pitch. You play the outfield. You did both a fair amount at UC Irvine already. You've been here for just a couple games and came in yesterday, three-plus innings of relief. You've started a couple games now in left field. Which do you prefer, pitching or hitting? Oh, you can't ask that question. Yes, that's a, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough one. Um, I I honestly like both, but um, I like say, uh, outfield and hitting. I love hitting and uh, I love competing in the in the batter's box and in left field. I like making good plays, but I love I love pitching too. Um, when you're pitching, you, you're the only one out there, and you you're the only one throwing the ball, and you got to really compete and uh, you know, just just grind everything out. So I, I really enjoy uh pitching. You entered the game yesterday, a really close contest against the Victoria Harbor Cats. The team hung on for the win. Uh, you threw a couple of innings, and you really had to be on your game in order to keep the sweets in the ball game and to keep the game close, and you were. You answered the bell. So heading into that game against Victoria, obviously you've seen the Harbor Cats before last year, but what was your plan of attack? How well do you feel that you executed? Um, I was My plan was just to throw a lot of strikes. Um, that's something actually at Irvine that the coaches push a lot, just throw strikes. Um, and the re the rest will do itself. If you throw strikes, um, you have to make them earn it. And so that was kind of my plan going into the game. I'm going to ask you about one of your college teammates, and I think you have an idea of who I might ask you about. But the West Coast League alum, Keston Hura, the ninth overall pick in the Major League Baseball draft the other day by the Milwaukee Brewers. Of course, he's been playing at Irvine now for a couple of years. And just for Brewers fans and for baseball fans, what can you tell them about Keston from a behind-the-scenes standpoint, what's he like to be around? Uh, what what can fans expect from him going forward? Um, they can expect a real, uh, real good, good guy. He's a, he's a good friend and he's a, just a good person. And I mean, obviously, he's a really good hitter. He's the best hitter I've ever seen, honestly. Yeah. Um, ninth, ninth overall, that's no joke. Yeah, it's. I mean, he's he's really good, but yeah. he's also a really good guy. That's great to hear. Ryan, thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow night, 5 o'clock p.m. Sweets in the West Coast Guns. Hopefully we'll get back in the win column. And, Ryan, thank you very thank much. You. Part two of Sweet Scoop postgame after a 14-3 to bludgeoning at the hand of the Port Angeles lefties. However, a bright spot in the game was the solo home run hit by the man standing to my left, Sweets infielder Cameron Deer. Cameron, you hit that ball out. It was a hanging curveball, a two-strike pitch in the third inning. Were you looking for anything in particular, or did you just see a pitch you liked and pounced on it? Uh, I mean, I was kind of trying to pr protect away. He'd been going uh, fastballs away all night, so I was kind of diving out. He left something slow up, and I kind of just had to turn on it and try and keep it fair, and luckily it snuck out. You turned on it, and you kept it fair, so two for two from that standpoint. So you've been a guy who's moved around quite a bit for us this year. You've played third base, you played second base, you played the outfield tonight. You played first base after John Glenn had to come out of the game, unfortunately, with that injury there. Uh, what's your favorite position to play, and how does your mindset change depending on which position you're put at? Uh, I mean, probably my favorite one is the one I've uh, played most in high school. Uh, third base is probably the one I feel best at. Uh, I played second in college, so that one's not too far away from first. Uh, 
I mean, it, the goal stays the same the whole time, just try and keep my feet moving in the infield and try and just put a, put my glove out and work the hands and try and keep it in front of me. Uh, it changes a little bit when you have to turn to it second base, but um, the coaches do a great job of letting us get enough reps uh, in BP and stuff to uh, give me the best spot to make those plays. Outfield, uh, it's just kind of reading. I guess I don't get the best reads than some of our outfielders, but uh, I, I guess I can make it work. Um, yeah, and that's all I got on that. Well, it's been sort of an interesting season from a team-wide offensive standpoint. We started out the season hitting great in that series against Wenatchee, and then the bats totally went away. It looked like they were coming back in that Victoria series, but after your home run in the third inning, the team had just two hits and put just three runners on base the rest of the way. What happened today? I mean, the at-bats look better and better, but the results aren't there. Why not? Yeah, I mean, we put together some good at-bats. Uh, I think one thing, we uh, Coach told us this, and I think it's true, and I think we need to work on a little bit more, is just being aggressive and staying at the big part of the field. We have a lot of foul balls, you know, down the first baseline, third baseline. I think we just need to work a little bit more in BP and in the cages, just staying to the middle of the field, myself included. I mean, and I think we've put together some competitive at-bats. We've got some good contact here and there, line drives right at people, hard ground balls right at people, and, you know, we keep swinging the bat. I think we're going to be fine. Does your approach change? Does your preparation change when the team is going through a slump like it has been? Uh, I think I think a big thing when you're in a slump is just, you know, staying at that big part. You can't get too uh, concerned with trying to hit a home run or trying to get an extra base hit. you got to settle for a good contact up the middle, and from there then you start feeling hot and then you can go for others. But uh, I think I think our approach is where it needs to be, and I think our heads are where it needs to be, and I think we're going to be fine in this, the rest of this homestand and going through the road trip. And then finally, the final question, just coming off three wins against the Victoria Harbor Cats, won all three games by one run, 2-1, two 2-1, to 6-5. Two to to Obviously, it takes a whole team effort to squeak out close games like that. What has impressed you the most about the way that you and your teammates handled the series, especially the second game in yesterday's doubleheader, falling behind 4 nothing and coming back to win? That was impressive. Yeah, I think uh, something that speaks volumes about it, this team is the ability to Get down early, but stay in it. Just keep putting together good at bats and fight back. And we've won a lot of games by putting up to get putting up runs in the later innings. And I think that speaks. That's a good thing to have in this team, and it, it translates well to the postseason. I think it's a the one the one bright spot in this uh, sticky stretch right now. Well, thanks, Cameron. Cameron Deer, right hand hitter, all around infielder, versatile defender out of Brown University. Come down to the stadium tomorrow afternoon, five o'clock first pitch against the West Coast Guns to see Cameron and the rest of the squad as we try to get back in the win column. Thanks for watching Sweet Scoop post game.